Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got make rights in the game but uh, I don't have mine yet. So unfortunately I don't actually have my make right packs just yet but there are actually make rights that are rolling out to people. I'm not gonna flip out about it just yet. I'm gonna wait a couple of hours and if I don't have them yet and if you guys don't happen to have your make rights as well contact EA help and they should be able to help you guys out with that but even myself I don't have them. I'm going to give a shout out to BG Steel for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Nota Gang. And let me go over the make rights that are supposed to be pushed out to me right now. And also kind of how this is going to change a lot of the market right now. You guys can see there was actually an issue this weekend with the Ultimate Legends Dante Hall and Michael Dean Perry. Now you may have just noticed this if like you even take a look at the auction house like the price they were set at was way way too high it definitely seemed a little bit off and you guys can see right here they said that on saturday march 27th both ultimate legends dante hall and michael dean perry were released in madden ultimate team an issue was identified that certain ultimate legend packs and bundles did not contain the proper content the madden live service team will be processing a goodwill grant for this issue for every individual ultimate legends fantasy pack purchase player will receive a one-time 87 plus overall ul fantasy pack that contains the final round of 287 plus ul players which you can choose one for every six times ul bundles purchased players will receive six 87 plus overall ultimate legend fantasy pack uh plus the toppers from the bundle so essentially if you guys did go ahead and you opened up an ultimate legend fantasy bundle then you will go ahead and get six of those 87 plus overall ul fantasy packs and you will also get the toppers again and the same thing for the three times bundle but of course with only three packs and then the three toppers so definitely a lot of make rights being pushed out and in case you're wondering what exactly those make rights are going to look like in your unopened packs well here they actually are but another thing that i've been seeing is some people have been saying they're actually getting more packs than they even opened like if someone did like one bundle then they're actually getting enough make rights to qualify for like two bundles so hopefully mine are just not pushed out to me right now and i'm about to get like two times the amount of packs than i actually should but as you guys can see right here he got 987 plus overall ul fantasy packs also three more additional 87 plus overall ul fantasy packs and 291 plus overall ul players so definitely a lot of make rights are about to be pushed out and if you guys are currently on the auction house well if we go ahead and we take a look at ultimate legends and we can now see that michael dean perry and as well as dante hall they should be just coming down in price a lot because there are so many people that just got their make rights and you guys can see right now it looks like dante hall is currently yeah 486k so he came down a lot in price a lot in price he is down to 486,000 coins and also if we take a look here at michael dean perry he is currently going for let's see not 480 what is he so he's 580k so he's still kind of up in price there now also i've seen a lot of people over on twitter right now actually going through and completing some sets so like brett Favre is now down to 537,000 coins which as you guys know i feel like brett Favre is the best quarterback in the game i think it's pretty obvious he's the best qb in the game quickest release uh and also of course he's actually got somewhat decent speed 81 speed incredible throwing stats good abilities really really like brett Favre for this price I like him a lot, but also now he's kind of continuing to come down. I'm probably going to wait until this Saturday with new ULs when everybody's opening up those packs or maybe even Easter day because we're going to have like some ultimate legend eggs more than likely, some ultimate legend like egg pieces or whatever. The market's going to be very, very down. So if you're looking to make any sort of like UL purchase, whatever, I think maybe the move is to wait until Sunday, but you could definitely go through right now and actually get some sets done and probably get these guys for very, very cheap. So those are the make rights currently being pushed out. And as I said, I actually did do a UL bundle on Saturday for you guys. So kind of unfortunate that I don't have the make rights just yet to actually open up. But also something that you could do 
and probably something that I will do as well is just save the packs. Save them for this Saturday. You could definitely open them up now, or you could just save them for this Saturday and get the Ultimate Legends then, and then sell them off, which I would definitely sell before Sunday, because Sunday, when like all the eggs open up and everything, I think it's going to be quite a big of a crash. But if you guys did not already see my video from earlier today, make sure you guys go and check it out. There's actually a new method out that ScoMo found. By the way, Go sub to Scomo if you're not already sub, dude. He's like 400 subs away from 100k. And we play tonight in the Man franchise. That video be tomorrow. But there's actually a new method to try to get these ultimate eggs. So that's what I'm going to do. Just bought that Preston Smith to try to go ahead and try to get some ultimate eggs. But essentially what you guys do is you do this big egg pack right here. Because you only lose 900 candy for every single pack that you open. But you can pull ultimate eggs out of this pack. So yes, uh, if you don't pull an ultimate egg, you know, you just quick sell the big egg, whatever you do, lose 900 candy. Now you're losing, obviously, if you don't pull a big egg or a, an ultimate egg. But check out my video from earlier today. You guys can see I did pull two ultimate eggs. Go check the bit out to see which ones I did end up pulling. So I'm still missing one. I want to get that last ultimate egg here. And is it actually worth it to do this method to try to get the ultimate eggs? I mean, who knows? Who, really, who knows? We don't know what's going to be in those eggs. I think they're going to be something crazy. I think those would be 99 overall players, my personal opinion. I feel like the MVP one is probably going to be Tom Brady, and the other two, we'll see. I've seen a lot of people say, like, the Black Sparkly one would be, like, Career Tribute Breeze. I don't know, man. I really don't know. I've also seen people doing the random Grand Egg to try to go ahead and get Ultimate Eggs, which you can do, but you're also losing quite a bit of candy from doing that. So in terms of like having the best shot at pulling the ultimate egg and also like how many coins or how many coins worth of candy you're losing here and in general how much candy you're losing per reroll, this is probably the best one to go ahead and do. So we have a couple more of these to do. We'll see if we can clutch it out. Come on. Give me some good. Big egg right there. Give me, give me an ultimate. Give me an ultimate, man. We can do this one and one more random big egg. Unfortunately... I don't have the make rights for you guys. I would definitely love to open those for you guys' this video, but unfortunately, they just, they're, they're not out to me. Hopefully, they're out to you guys. Final random big egg. What do we get? Ultimate egg. Nope, we get a big egg right there. Uh, you know what? That wasn't good enough. Let's go ahead and do some pack here. Let's do a UL Fantasy Pack. Whatever, 160K, probably a terrible idea, uh, but let's just go ahead and do it. Round one, we get a 91 Cam Acres. Okay. Round two, we get a 87 Jason Verrett. All right. And we'll go with the 80 overall, Alex Lewis. Round three, would you look at that? Mr. Dante Hall. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video though. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. The market definitely seemed a bit off this weekend. And I guess now we know why. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.